bite. Mm. I'm the real judge because mm. I'm, mm. I'm the real judge because mm. I'm the fidget. Mm. No. You like it? It's really okay. bite? It's mm. just really hot. Hey y'all. Thanks for tuning into my channel. It's Miss Drake Bakes. Back at it again. Today I'm going to attempt to make something that I tried 22 years ago in Newark when I was actually living out there when I was pregnant with my youngest son. My co-worker at the time had brought some chicken wings over to try and they were really good and I was shocked because she had told me that they were curry curry. For Filipinos, that's a, that's a dish that's made with like peanut butter and oxtail and whatnot. But it was actually good and I'm not a fan of it. But I've been actually wanting to do that considering Super Bowl's coming up. I wanted to try that, so I'm gonna make that attempt. But however, there's no more wings. The wings are sold out. So today, or tonight, I'm actually gonna make the attempt with chicken wings. I mean, drumsticks. Ooh, blooper, oops. Okay, so we're gonna use about four pounds of chicken legs. I have them in a mixing bowl. It'll be easier so that way you can actually get all your ingredients in this bowl and mix it up. Preferably, I like to use wings, but we'll go with this. So what I have here is about three tablespoons of olive oil. You're gonna see that beautiful color. And I have fresh garlic. This is about three cloves of garlic. Just pour the oil over your chicken, just like that. Now you're gonna pour the minced garlic all over. Scrape everything using tongs, or you can actually use gloves. This right here is ginger. It's about a tablespoon of ground ginger. You're gonna put in some cayenne pepper. It's about a tablespoon. What we have here is just regular ground pepper. That's a tablespoon as well. And this is just your salt. That one's about two teaspoons. And right now I'm just gonna stir the chicken, make sure everything gets coated. And you just wanna make sure the oil and all the seasonings are actually incorporated. And it looks like this. And now I'm just gonna mix it. And just continue. And once you got it coated, it looks just like this. I'll just give it a few stir here. If you want, you can always also put latex gloves on. Now here I have a sheet pan lined with foil and I have a wire, wired rack on top. You're gonna to place all the drumsticks on the pan and line them up however you choose. And so right now that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And always just get the remaining garlic and seasoning and pour that over the chicken that way you can use it all up no waste no waste no waste okay you got to remember to preheat your oven to 400 degrees get that in the oven and while that's cooking in the oven I'm gonna start my little sauce we're gonna use about half a cup of regular um, veggie oil in a skillet warm that up my skillet's actually pretty warm right now I'm gonna add in some onions to this once I swirl all of this grease all over the pan. Then just add in the onions. This is about a cup of um, diced onions. I'm just gonna go ahead and saute that for a little bit. While that's going, always make sure you, take, you check your temperature. That way you don't burn your onions. Now we're gonna add in some minced garlic. Give that a little stir as well. Just make sure not to burn it. It's 
So right now I'm just gonna stir the onion and garlic, kind of get the onion a little translucent. Just like that. And here I have about two and a half cup of regular chicken broth. Pour that in there and stir. Get that stirred up. And now we're gonna put in about two and a half tablespoons of patis, which is fish sauce. That goes into the pan as well. Give it a stir. Now I'm gonna add what is called Bagoong in Tagalog, that's a Filipino uh, ingredient. It's also known as shrimp paste, and I'm going to swirl that around. And now I'm going to add about a cup and a half of peanut butter. This is just plain, regular peanut butter. If you don't have any peanut butter around, you can always crush, crush up or get your, uh, what is it called? Um, it's called the food processor. You can put some regular peanuts in there and use that as well if you don't have any peanut butter. Now we're just gonna cook that a little until it gets thickened. So that takes approximately about 10 minutes total on medium. Now that I have this sauce thickened, as you can see, it's a little more thicker than when I started. So just make sure it'll get thicker as you cook it. Just get it, you don't have to like do too much here. While I'm doing that, I'm actually scraping the bottom of the pan so you can get like all the ingredients that are at the bottom that stick to the bottom like the onions and garlic. Okay, while this is heating up for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and check on the chicken. And now I'm gonna put some sauce over the drumsticks. So here you're gonna actually place the chicken into your sauce and kind of like give the chicken a turn or two, get it really nicely coated. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of these. And once we get these all coated, it's gonna go back into the oven for about eight more minutes. You're always welcome to put extra sauce on top of the chicken once you have it plated. I like to put green onions top as well, and it'll taste really good with rice. So here we go. That's my kare kare chicken. All right guys, here you have it. Baked kare kare chicken. I have my grandbabies here, and they're gonna be the judges to tell me what it tastes like we have. Pearly, Kieran, and Atticus. <laughs> All right, guys. Honest opinion. You hear me? Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. Oh, and you can also eat this with rice, which I'm pretty sure will taste delicious. Okay. Ha. I will move out. Can I just like eat the bone too? You. Hi, <laughs> guys. You want to try it? It's really it? hot. Can I get it a fork or something? Oh, it's, oh, it's a fork or something? Yeah. Ah. Fork for hot You're good. I'm just gonna take a piece off. And it's hot. Mm. Here, I guess you wanna try? Mm. No, potatoes. Yes. You're getting an apple on a potato. Tell, tell, tell Lola, is it good? Tell her. Hey, Lola, take a bite. Mm. I'm the real judge because mm. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm the real judge because I'm the pigeon. Mm. Mm. No. You like it? It's really okay. good. It's just really hot. I like it. I, I like it. Personally, I love peanut butter. So I say like peanut butter chicken. <laughs> Actually, it is really good. Um, it's, it got like a little spicy texture in it. I like the texture <clears throat> and I like And I like the smell. You don't want a 
of um, spicy yeah. spiciness in it and um, good. <laughs> yeah. You know how it's like. Is it good? I don't yes. Know. Yes. Or yeah. no. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you know how they're doing. Like, like, you know how judges are just like taking a bite and then they're like, "Yeah, it's delicious," and they just leave it. There you like, have it, guys. The grandbabies love it. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, Mrs. Drake bakes. Bye.